Monday night, Jim is off. I'm Rick Williams, and the big story in Action News is the new presumptive positive coronavirus cases in Montgomery County that have prompted school closures in the area. This comes as the number of infected across the country keeps going up while the stock market continues to drop. Today, the Dow saw its steepest drop since 2008. The shakeup in the financial markets is partly blamed on the spread of the disease. Meantime, in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, there are 21 presumed positive cases. And meanwhile, here's a live look at the White House briefing room where we are expecting an update any minute now. We're told Vice President Pence and members of the Coronavirus Task Force will be speaking on the outbreak. Meantime, we have live team coverage on the new developments tonight. Let's begin with Action News reporter Sarah Bloomquist, who's standing by in the Satellite Center with the latest on the cases across our area. Sarah. Rick, 10 cases in Pennsylvania, 11 now in New Jersey. And as you said, we are getting word this evening that school districts are closing. Today we learned Sheltonham School District, Lower Marion School District, and now we've just learned Norristown and Upper Marion School Districts will be closing. They're all different, some closing just for tomorrow, others through the week, so you will need to check. This comes as we've learned that a cardiologist at a children's hospital location in King of Prussia has tested positive, been diagnosed, and is in critical condition tonight at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. Today, Montgomery County officials announced an additional case presumed to be COVID-19. The total number in the county now is seven, according to state health officials. The fifth case is a Montgomery County adult who, who resides in Upper Marion Township and as has been released by the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia is a cardiologist working for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia in the King of Prussia outpatient facility. This individual is currently hospitalized at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. That patient came into contact with two students and a staff member, prompting the Lower Marion Township School District to close all schools tomorrow. The students and staff member are under quarantine for 14 days now. The Cheltenham School District will also be closed for the rest of the week because of the outbreak in the county. Official there said a school district parent was a caregiver to a patient who tested positive for the virus. In all, 10 people have tested presumptively positive in the state of Pennsylvania. Montgomery County with the most, Delaware County with one case. All the cases await CDC confirmation, but state health officials say they are not waiting to take action once cases are initially identified. This includes what we call contact tracing. Contract tracing means that we are reaching out to anyone who came into direct contact with these individuals to see if they have developed symptoms and if they need to be tested. Five new presumptive positive cases were announced just today in New Jersey this afternoon, bringing that state total to 11. That includes two patients from Monmouth County and one patient each in Bergen, Passaic, and Union County. A patient in Camden County, a man in his 60s, is currently in isolation at Jefferson Cherry Hill Hospital. Live in the Satellite Center, I'm Sarah Bloomquist, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Sarah, thank you.